Right. Woo, what's going on, boy? I got a burn in them legs. Let me tell you something right now. You see the car rolling back down the hill. I had to push it up the hill. But I'm here to tell you that. I pushed that car up the hill to tell you right now that you have strength to be down on the inside. We just got to get it out. The difference between good and great is the mastery of a million small steps. You saw it. As I inch that car up the hill, I moved my left foot and then my right foot, my left foot and my right foot. So a lot of people out there are good at what they do. But to be great at what you do, you have to master a million small steps. Don't rush the process. Respect the process. You must abide by the process if you are ever going to receive the greatness that you are trying to achieve. Why not rush it? Number one, you can't rush it. When you rush things, you're saying, I'm trying to hurry up you from point A to point B. If I'm trying to rush something, that means that I'm dissatisfied with where I'm at right now. So don't rush it. Be satisfied where you are. I know you want to do better. I know you want more money. I know you want a better job. I know you want to be further along in your career. I do too, but don't rush it. You have to accept where you're at right now because you're there for a reason. There is a lesson to be learned where you're at right now. As a matter of fact, if you don't know the lesson that you need to learn where you're at right now, you'll never be prepared for where you want to get to. Number two, you must respect it. Respect where you're at right now. Respect the small step that you're on right now. Whatever that small step it is, respect that small step. Why? When you respect something, you have a healthy admiration for it. I admire where you're at right now. Why I got to admire? You have to admire where you're at right now because 10 years ago, five years ago, three years ago, you were asking to be where you're at right now. You prayed about it. You, you, you dreamed about it. You asked for it two years ago, two months ago, and now it's here. And then you're unhappy about it. Be careful about complaining about what you prayed for two years ago. You prayed for it two years ago. Now you got it and you're complaining about it. You must respect it. Admire where you're at right now. Admire the steps. The last number three. Well, let me go back through so you, you catch all three. Number one, don't rush it. Number two, you got to respect it. You got to admire it. You got to admire it. You got to admire it. And then number three, you saw me pushing the car up the hill. And it took some time. But the last thing is you have to learn to abide by it. What does that mean? I have to abide by the process. I have to abide by the small steps. And when you abide by something, that means you don't get lost in it. Don't get lost in where you're at right now. It's okay. Don't get settled there. Where you're at right now is temporary. It's not permanent. You might be going through a trial. You might be going through a tribulation. But it's not permanent. It's a temporary thing. And you must learn what needs to be learned in this temporary time, the temporary environment. So therefore, you're prepared for what's next season's coming. When next season comes, you're ready for it. But you must abide by it. Abide by the process. Abide by the small steps. Then you will figure out that you have the strength to be on the inside. And all we got to do is what? You know, we got to get it out.